Okay, we're doing 27.4 together. Uh, I saw some of you struggling, so I'm redoing 27.4. Those of you that know exactly what's going on, then you can relax. Those of you that still need to understand a bit, please pay attention. Use colors if you want to, it makes it easier. Highlight the total and then highlight it or color the block in where you booked it over to. Now the first thing you do, you have to look at your opening balances. That's balances coming from previous months. Transactions that have already happened. You've got to know your rules. Trading stocks and asset. Assets have debit opening balances. Something else I've noticed is that a lot of you use the word balance whenever you want to. You can't use the word balance unless it's an opening balance coming from the previous month. And that will only happen at the start of the month. That's all. We're busy with May 2018. May the 1st. From here onwards, you can't use the word balance again until you do your balancing procedure at the end of the month. Next one, debt is control. It's an asset. Assets have debit balances. That's what your rule says. Nothing to understand. Next opening balance, sales. Sales is an income. Your rule says income have got credit opening balances. Next one, cost of sales. Cost of sales is an expense. Guys, there's nothing to understand there. You've got to study it. Cost of sales is an expense. Expenses have debit opening balances. Last one, debt is allowances. That's also an expense. Your rule says expenses have debit balances. This is now the information coming from previous months. Now you're going to start with your journal. You do sundry column first, if there are. Otherwise, you do totals. And we book over the totals to the general ledger. Your first journal that you have is a debtor's journal. This is a debtor's journal number one. Your first column is sales. It's sales to debtors. Sales and debtors control go together for that column. It's a sale you are doing and you're selling to debtors. So sales is an, uh, an income. Your rule says incomes are debits, I mean credit. So your total for the sales, 2,150 is going to go on the credit side of your sales. Comes out of your DJ. It's at the end of the month, May the 31st. We say this is sales and it's sales to debtors. So that I'm going to take to debtors control as well. So here my contra account is debtors control. There's my credit, my debit lies here. For every debit you must have a credit and vice versa. One debit, one credit. Credit side of sales because it's an income. Debit side of debt is control because now they owe you more money. Assets increase on the debit side. Next entry. Next column, cost of sales. Cost of sales tells you that my stock has left my store. Cost of sales is an expense. Expenses are debits. I'll go to the debit side. This is out of my debtor's journal. It's May the 31st. Now, this tells me that my stock has left my store. So my contra account is trading stock. Oh, 
officer, I thought this plane was going to be a bit bigger. One five six zero. Yes, Henry. I take my cost of sales at one thousand four hundred and sixty. Must it be one thousand six hundred and fifty? Am I looking upside down? Twenty-seven point four. The total of the cost of sales column, Henry. The, this book says one five six zero. Let's just quickly see where are you now? Twenty-seven point four. Okay, your book is printed a little bit funny. And here my contra account. Cost of sales. I debit cost of sales because because it's an expense. I credit trading stock because assets have gone out of my property. It's been sold, they're gone. So that's why we use cost of sales. There you've got that journal booked over completely. Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Let's carry on. Let's go to our debtors allowances journal. Your first column is debtors allowances. Now debtors allowances is an expense. That will go to the debit side. Which other account are you going to use? Debtors control. Debtors control is decreasing, they owe us less money. Assets decrease on the credit side. So we go to debtors allowances. The amount is 210, Andre, are we correlating 210? Is that what you get? Yeah. Okay. What's my contract account? These allowances were made to debtors, so it's debtors control. I debit debtors allowances, I credit debtors control. This is out of my debtors allowances journal. And the other account is debtors allowances. Any questions there? It's allowances to debtors. That's why it's my two accounts. Allowances to debtors. So debtors allowances, debtors control. Okay, then we look at your cost of sales column. Important that you know with which journal you're busy with. This is debtors allowances. So that cost of sales tells me that's the value of the stock they sent back, that they were unhappy with. We only put amounts in cost of sales that we, of stock we can resell. So, I like taking it from the other angle. This column tells me my trading stock is increasing. Trading stocks and asset, assets increase on the debit side. So I'm going to go here to the debit side. It's a cost of sales column, so the contract count is going to be cost of sales. I debit trading stock because I've got more of it. People brought more back, so it has increased. Now I'm going to, if this is a debit, I have to credit cost of sales. I normally debit cost of sales, but I'm cancelling these ones. This was good, so a sale that was returned. That's a sale that was returned. That's why we credit cost of sales. Right. Then, 
So we've done the whole debtors allowances journal. Oh, lekker. Right, we're doing the cash receipt journal now. We don't have a bank account. We've got a sales account. Okay, I'm going to squeeze it in there. Sales is an income. Your rule says income to go on the credit side. So you're going to credit sales with 350. Out of my CRJ. What's my contract account? What's my contract account? Debtors control. It's the cash receipt journal. It's not the debtors journal. So it's not credit sales, it's cash sales. So what is the contract account then? If you hear the word cash. It's a CRJ, it's cash sales. So what's my contract account? Cost of sales. Bank. Bank. What's your first column in the cash oh. receipts journal? Bank. It went into bank and into sales. No, have a look. Have a look. This is cash sales. So it went into bank and it went into sales. So it's bank. Right, so this is cash sales, so this is bank over here. And I don't have a contra account. I don't have a contra account because they, they didn't ask us to do an account. Next, I go to cost of sales. Cost of sales is an expense. Expenses are debits. So I'm going to debit cost of sales, 280, out of my cash receipts journal, May the 31st. Cost of sales tells me my stock has left my store. So my contract account is trading stock. And I've got to go to trading stock to indicate that it has decreased. Sales out of my CRJ. Any questions? Guys, take them one by one, reason it out.